Hello, and welcome back to Danga Rampa. When we left off, someone was a knocky knocky at our door. But before we get started, if you are new here, hi, I'm Boya. I record games. I play every game. If you ask me to play it, I will definitely play the game. Just, you know, leave it in the comment section below and I'll play. However, uh, typically people ask me to play very, very long games and I typically put them to the back burner because um, I try to only put in one or two long games and right now I'm playing The Walking Dead and I'm playing Dingarampa and I'm playing games in between that. So, you know, if you have a short indie game that you want me to play, absolutely, I'm in there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I take requests. You can ask me to play whatever you want and I hope you have a fantastic day. But we left off, someone was a knocky knocky at our door. Let's see who it is. The doorbell. Does that mean someone's here? I cautiously walk towards the door and open it slowly. Wary of what might be at the on the other side. Nice Ooh, that was loud. <laughs> Hi, Yabuki. It's kind of late for you to have this much energy. <laughs> it's the past tense of nice to meet you, you know. Since we already exchanged nice to meet yous. Ibuki, you again. That's totally it. Allow me to apologize for surprising you with a sudden visit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's not a lot better than last time when you broke into my room. <laughs> <laughs> you must be the type who holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you have gout. So what do you want? <laughs> Um, Yabuki doesn't get either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. An invitation? Oh, no. That could only mean Monokuma. I, uh, please, no more invitations from him, because he's just going to give us a motive. Yes. See? This thing! Oh, God. What the? That's totally a girl's writing. Let's see. A recovery party for Fuihiko at the Titty Typhoon. Yes, I'm going to say Titty Typhoon. If it's in the game, I'm going to probably say it. At 9 p.m. What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Uh, how rude. Don't put that thing, put that in the same category as Monokuma. Is this your doing, Ibuki? I don't know what you're talking about at all. <laughs> Ibuki just just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. It, of course, it's Ibuki. You know she likes to do nice things for people. Let's we'll just say it, it isn't her because she wants it not to be her. <laughs> well then, Ibuki has some preparations, so I'll go on ahead and leave it, it to you. <sighs> she even said preparations. She's completely behind this. Hmm. Titty Typhoon is the music venue in the Third Island, right? Huh, 9, 9 p.m. I'll say 9.30. That's in 30 minutes. But even though it's a party for Fuyuhiko's recovery, is he even going to be able to come? After all, he just slit his stomach this morning. But she took the trouble to do this out of goodwill. I guess I should head over to the music venue. Oh, boy. I like to walk there because, you know, just in case I run into somebody... However, I feel like it would probably be better if we just fast traveled. Just because, you know, saving time and stuff. But before we do that, I want to give my baby a present because my baby is so cute. You can have some water. You can have water because we have four of those. There you go. Oh, I love you. Yay, I love you. Okay, um, uh, fast travel. That's what we're doing. Oh, no, 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 no. Back out. Thank you. It kind of rolled. So, we're going to the Titty Typhoon on the next island. There it is. And we can only fast travel from there because we did this before. And hopefully... If there's somebody around, we run into them because, you know, I like talking to the other people. But hopefully, this doesn't end badly because I'm so scared. 
I'm so scared that something bad's gonna happen to somebody that I care about. Here we are at the music venue. <sighs> well, hello, um, Gundam and Nagito outside together. I wonder if they're talking. Nagito, Yubuki invited you too, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm honored. But since everyone else is going to be here celebrating Fuyihiko's recovery, no matter what, don't put yourself down, sir. Not, not, don't start with that. I think it's rude for someone like me to go inside before everyone else arrives. Uh, you don't have to worry about me. You can go inside first. I really wasn't worried about you. And if you're worried that you don't fit in with everybody because you don't have a good enough qualifying um, ultimate, well, I don't have one at all. So <laughs> I'm just saying, you don't have to put yourself down. Believe me, I'm not worried. Hi, Gundam. This too must be Tonight's cool. constellation. I like his little, his little input. Tonight's constellation heralds the banquet that celebrates Fuyihiko's resurrection. <laughs> How I die, I, I die, I ba 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 brain died, brain <laughs> died. I don't stick. <laughs> Oh God, his voice, my brain died and, and his voice threw me off. Now then, let us begin the ceremony of darkness. This guy, oh, who cares anymore? It's Gundam, we just know it's Gundam. Anyone else? God, brain farts today. I don't care about the surveillance camera, I didn't click on that. I think, <laughs> if I did, I didn't mean to click on it. Come on, I'm ready to go in. I'm ready to have fun with everybody. Look at everybody here. Several people have already arrived at the music venue, but, and Fuyihiko's here. Fuyihiko, where are you? Huh? What? Is it bad that I came? No, not that, it's not that. Is it okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. Has anyone noticed that she's not, like, stumbling over her words as much? Like, like you can see it in the writing that, you know, she's like, like, Fuyihiko, like that. But she's she's been talking clearly for the last couple of times I've spoken to her and the last couple of times that um, she's just been there. It's like, it's kind of, it's kind of weirding me out a little bit. Even so. They took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. Oh. I'm not overdoing it. Please. Fine then. Just let him do whatever he wants. But... Oh, I know you're worried about him, but it's okay. He'll be okay. We're all here. Huh? It's fine. Just let him be. Apparently, Yakuza have a pain tolerance down to an art. <laughs> I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. Yofi, he could probably wouldn't even came no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his very best to change. Hey. But it looks like Yoko definitely didn't come. Oh. That seems to be the case. Huh? Uh, Akane's not here too. Hmm. What is that wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything stu strange. I was going to say stupid. As if on cue, right when Nekimaru expressed his unease, that's when it happened. Oh, God. My. Oh, my. Suddenly, the stage lit up very brightly, and the... I'm going to sneeze. And the person who appeared was... Okay. Oh, And in fashion of Ibuki, of course she's gonna say something weird. <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. You know, I would never see it. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better. I hope you're all pumped up. Oh, I'm so excited to hear her sing. Just as I thought, 
that was what she was going for. Well, she is the ultimate musician after all. I can't imagine what else she'd do in a music venue. I can't wait to hear her sing. I'll start singing this first song with full on energy. Let's go. Okay, let's do this. Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I can probably look forward to her music stylings. Let's go. Ah! I'm so glad that the game turned it down for us. Okay. Oh! I'm gonna turn it up a little bit for you guys so y'all can hear it. Okay. It's really peaking. Okay. 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 Um. Okay. Okay. I don't know what else to say. Thank you, everyone. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Oh, God. Look at his face. <laughs> of destruction look less lively than usual I do I'm straight starting to feel chills y'all can at least support you Buki you see fake friends I would have been like let's go you Buki let's go you support your friend Unless it's like really, really bad. Don't support your friend if they're doing something terrible. But you know, when they're doing when they're going for their passion, you support your friend. With a title like From Me to You, I thought it was going to be a sweet love song. If I recall, the reason why Yubuki left her high school girls band was creative differences. That must be why. <laughs> It's, this is the one time I'm gonna side with her. But this is how y'all should have been the whole time. And you shouldn't have been brought hamsters to her venue anyway. Jesus Christ. It's awesome! It's the first time I've heard such famous song. Kyoko? I'm glad. Uh, you came? <laughs> so what if I did? I was invited too, you know. But... But... If you're attending Fuyuhiko's recovery party, that means you've already... Hmm. That's not it. Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Hey. Since he's a Yakuza, you know, he's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Even now, he's probably pretending to be sorry, so he can try to trick us. There is no way that is possible. I know. No. I get why she thinks that of me. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never going to believe in you. There's that, uh, we were, you know, you're not French, ma'am. We don't agree with you. We actually care about Fuyuhiko. We actually want him around. You, however, again... 
If something happened to you, I don't care. Get it? That doesn't mean that we're we've made up <laughs> we're made up excuse me, or anything. I'm only co oh, I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Huh? No. Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's gonna get cut off. Uh oh. Did Hyoko grow a little bit of a heart? I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. You don't cry. See, look. I started to like her just a little bit, and then it just bleh, instantly. You don't cry. Pigs have no right to cry. You're grossing me out. I see. Where he? That that brain brain. Jesus, I couldn't say his name. Fuihiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? The old Hiyoko. There's no way she'd ever forgiven Fuihiko like this. No. Hey, what are you looking at? N nothing. Definitely nothing. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more reason why I'm worried about him. Monokuma. We haven't seen him in a while. He's got to be up to scheming up to something, and that's scary. There's no way he's not going to do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Boring. Hey, how much longer are you guys going to be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party. Yay! Come on, Yabuki. Hurry up and start the new song. Roger. Oh, God, another one? <laughs> I mean, yeah, girl. It's just not what I expected of Ibuki. She just kind of looked like the pop type of person. Not a full-on metalhead, but it's cool. It's cool. Metal's kind of cool sometimes. It depends on what kind of metal you're into. Uh, there's still more. <laughs> now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Okay. Grab a partner and slow dance to... I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yubuki. Yubuki, I love you. I really do. <laughs> no more! <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Whoa, model me? Jeez. Hey, don't interfere. Uh, and I was just enjoying such a fun party, too. <gasps> I wasn't invited to the party? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> you ruined the party if you were here. What? Double gasp. <laughs> but seriously, now's not the time. Uh-oh, what's going on? Now's not the time to enjoy a fun party. W why? Akane, Akane, no, 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 you're not gonna tell me no, please game, don't do this to me, Spike, don't do this to me, okay, I, I haven't even got a chance to talk to Akane, oh, that's gonna be worse, Akane is doing Monokuma. That's even worse. That's violating the rules. She's gonna get killed. Oh no, it's gonna be another Junko thing. Please don't spike her. Literally, Spike, don't spike her. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to swipe your Spike in a minute. Spike tunes off a bit. Spike, no spiking. Spike, no spiking. <laughs> what did you say? At this point, Akane's gonna be in danger. Please, do something to save her. It looks like my bad feeling was correct. That stupid fool! No, I'm the one who's the fool. It was my mistake to keep my... Uh, blah, 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 blah. My, my brain keeps frying at certain at random spots. It was my mistake not to keep my eye on her. As a team manager, I should have had proper gas on my athlete's private life. Damn it! The failure will haunt me for the rest of my life. Or my name is in Nekumaru Nidai! Um. Oh god, my voice is gone. Is it? I'm gonna go ahead and say bye bye.
talk to my voice. I needed some water after that. <laughs> now it's not the time for regret. Let us make haste. Of course. Fuyihiko finally returned to us. The thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. I won't allow it. I won't never allow it. Hey, Monomi. Where's Monokuma and Akane? I said it backwards. Um, they're at the beach where we first arrived on this island. Please hurry. If you don't, Akane will be killed. You don't have to tell me. I'm going full speed ahead. We should hurry too. Nekumaru ruins my voice every time. Nekumaru bolted for the bolted by from the music mute <laughs> as fast as his legs could take him, and we followed him soon after. I should hurry too. Oh, Yubuki, I'm sorry, honey. Hey, everyone. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. No, that's not it. I know Akane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck. Screw this half-baked comfort. If this were a song title, it'd be salt seeping, <laughs> seeping into my broken heart. I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. Come on, you shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry over to the beach already. She's right. I should hurry too. I'm gonna assume that they're gonna, not gonna fast travel me because if they were gonna fast travel me, I would already been there. However, I just wanna look outside and see if somebody else was out here. And since no one else is here, I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel, which is a good thing. Sorry, I had to burp because I had to drink some water. It's just as Nekomaru said, I can't stand any more situations where someone is taken any longer. There is no time to spare. I need to hurry over to the beach at the first island. Okay, so can we fast travel? Because that would be lovely if I don't have to. Yep, and there's someone here. Hello, Chiaki. Hey, Chiaki, what are you doing? We gotta get to the beach. Calm down. Huh? It's true we need it's true we need to hurry. I'm losing my voice, sorry. It's true we need to hurry, but there's no way we can make good decisions if you show up all worked up. But if we don't hurry, Akane is hey. It's for the sake of saving Akane too. We don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm, I think. <sighs> yeah. Got it. I'm okay now. Yep. Then let's go. Okay, I'm so glad that she gives that little pep talk. I'm gonna start after I finish up with uh, Mikan. I'm gonna start uh, talking to uh, Chiaki too, cause I I like Chiaki. After running here at full sprint, by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. Akane. Avoiding any fatal injury. Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? Oh, I can't stand you, you stupid, ugly bear. You better not take her away from me. <laughs> Damn it. Well, why can't I even graze you with my attack? And she didn't touch it. Wait, she said she could barely graze him with her attack. So doesn't that mean she didn't touch him? So she's not in trouble? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. I can't stand him. Ugh, he makes me sick. Hey, hey. Is she really serious about... Not uh, even grazing it? Akane, it's just fighting a stuffed animal. Monokumo, Monokumo, Jesus. Monokumo is an advanced machine. If it is designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than the athlete, than any athlete I've ever seen, excuse me. And she says she can't even graze him with her attacks? 
Is that even possible? However, because it's possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she's ended up like this, there's not much that we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Ak Akane's death. Please, do not say that, okay? And use it as fuel to bolster our hope. Shut up. Just shut up. Somebody... I wish, I wish I had great editing skills. I'm terrible at editing. And I wish I had great editing skills because I would open his slap his face. Like, I would edit a hand in that slaps his face and knock him out. <sighs> like Fuyuhiko did, you see? Don't with me. Yeah, that's right. Yell at him. Damn it. I, I never want to feel that feeling ever again. If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I stop it, even if it costs me my life. You keep overexerting yourself. Yeah. It's just a little life Pecco gave me. It's not precious anyway. Yeah. You stupid idiot. <laughs> I knew Nekobar was going to say something because we just might lose Akane right here. So don't say stupid things like that, Fleet Hiko. That's, not, that's all the more reason you need to take care of it. Huh? Don't stop me. You guys stay back. I'll take it from here. No! Nekomaru, what are you gonna do? I don't want to lose Nekomaru either! Oh god! Well then, it looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this! Oh no, Akane! I say I won't allow any rule violations against me! Uh, this is what happens when you break the rules! Nekomaru's gonna jump in the way, isn't he? He's gonna push her out the way. It's so obvious because he just said this is final. No, I don't want to lose any one of them. Cause what if it does? Like, what if he doesn't stop it fully and it still hits Akane? Oh, and then we lose two people. Disappear. No, uh, Akane. Oh God. <laughs> that man hit us with the meat, literally. <laughs> Sorry, you can't be throwing your meat in the camera like that. I'm I'm sad because I might lose one of you guys. <laughs> you made me upset. <laughs> sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm childish. <laughs> the world shook and turned to stark white, as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by impact. It was all completely white. And within that white, I heard a voice. Oh no, it got both of them, didn't it? Oh no. Nakamaru! Oh my god, no! Please, please say that he lives. Oh, look at his tears in his eyes. I'm gonna cry, y'all. Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. I can't. I can't. Nakumaru, please don't do this to me. However, what a shame for someone like Nakumaru Nidai to... It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. Oh my god. I need my family right now because I need to lay on somebody's shoulder right now because I'm just, I'm about to cry right now. This is making me so sad. Not Nekumaru. <laughs> At this point, if I had to choose between them because she put herself in this situation, choose a, I'd choose Akane to go. But not Nekumaru. Uh-huh. No. The only thing I'm not going to miss is his dookies. No. Get a hold of yourself. Time I've spent with you. It, don't please don't. It wasn't so bad. I hit my mic. I, I already hit my mic. Please don't pull what Fuyuhiko did and finally tell somebody that you love them when you should have said something in the beginning. Because this is going to make me cry even more. Because I'm not jo joking with you guys that I, I can easily cry. 
that made me cry. That part with Peku and Fuihiko made me cry instantly. Don't die, Akane. Please tell me he's still alive. Oh my god. Please tell me he's alive. Are you kidding me? Nakumaru died! <laughs> no! Uh... Well, well, holy crap! Instead of the rule violator Akane... What, the hell? what a major failure, I ended up killing Nakumaru! Who had nothing to do with this! Hey. Hold on! It's faint, but his heart's still beating! He's not dead yet! Uh, oh no, the one person we need to be saving him is freaking out too. Then we gotta hurry and treat him. Hey, Monokuma, you can do something about this, right? Save Nekumaru like you saved me. Hey, hey. That's right. If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, then that makes you the one who violated the rules. Well? Then let's just call it even. Huh? In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekumaru was a sacrifice. Yeah! So isn't it okay to say we're even? Hey. You're not gonna save him? Jeez, I guess I have no choice. It's annoying. But it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. So... For today only, I activate my special trump card. And that's when it happened. A siren started ringing out of nowhere. And it gradually came closer and closer. Oh, God. This again? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Dr. Feelgood, Dr. Killgood, got it. We even recycled the same line again. <laughs> we gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24 hour observation stat. You better save him. So, I'll see you later. Thank you. You better save him. After you said that, the ambulance... Excuse me. <coughs> containing Monokuma... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Containing Monokuma and Nakamura vanished out of, st out of our sight. But What the hell? Why did this happen? What's going on? Hey, he's going to be all right, right? Nekomaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course! He's obviously gonna be saved. But Fuihiko finally returned to us. I cannot believe Nekomaru's gone now. No! No! More! I can't stand this anymore! Hey! Hey, you can't. <laughs> Can you stop yelling? Screaming won't help, you know. This isn't cuz. This is what happens when if she calls her ugly one more time, be mad. This is what happens when you let your guard down. All this talk about getting along with the, <laughs> excuse me, everyone getting along. We were just fooling ourselves. We were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will be just be killed one after another. The fact that she's that she's mad and she's crying makes me believe that she actually cares about us and she's just angry how it happened because it is a dumb way for one of us to go because Akane didn't want to listen to nobody. It won't be a mystery when we eventually when we're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm gonna, gonna rely on anyone. I'm never gonna rely on anyone. Excuse me, I'm messing up because I'm mad. <laughs> but that's how Fuihiko, you know, got himself in the situation. And no offense, but Fuihiko is three times stronger than you. That's the reality here. Uh, Are you saying it is meaningless for us to even work together? If you really, <coughs> if it really did have meaning, Nakamura wouldn't have ended up like that. He ended up 
like that because of this weird <laughs> feelings of friendship. No, he ended up like that because of a conic. You all hope you feel bad. I do. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, you understand that too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. So can we please stop not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. That is... Hyoko, blaming Akane will not help solve anything. Huh. We don't have to worry about Coach Nakamura. Huh? Oh, is she going to be in denial this whole time? Until we finally realize he's gone? Huh. Man, that's disappointing. It's all your fault and you're not even worried about him? Aww. I can't. I... You're not worried about Nakamura? Damn it. There's no need to worry about... <coughs> Excuse me. There's no need to worry about worrying. I know Coach Nakamura is a monstrous guy. There is no way he's gonna die to something like that. There's no doubt. Nakamura's definitely gonna come back. So, when it happens... Make sure I apologize to him because I was weak and I caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. Kane, poor thing. We all returned to our cottages. We were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. Even we saw Nekomar when we saw excuse me, even when Jesus when we saw Nekomaro's tragedy happen right in front of us. Once again, we were all taught if you think you won't die, well, that's just wishful thinking. On this island without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside it. And thus, the nightmare continues. My God. To add insult to injury, they give me out of this. I'm gonna breeze through this as fast as possible. If you wanna know the Monokuma theaters, you're on the wrong channels because I hate every last one of them. Monokuma Super Fables, <coughs> Super Fables, Story 58, a Tengu came down from the mountains. A long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengus showing up. The Tengus apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. But it is really the Tengus' fault. Is it really the Tengus' fault? Excuse me. Isn't it actually the humans' fault for ruining the nature by destroying the mountains where the Tengus lived? You think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones. Everyone, now is the time to rise up against the humans. We must protect nature from the humans and return to the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free. Monokuma Super Fable. The end. I really do hate the Monokuma Theater thing because it makes me overthink. Boy, how we slept through the night? I don't know. I just want to know if you're going to say something about Nekamaro. Nope. Nope, he didn't say anything about Nekomaru. I don't care. As usual, um, even if I say it, doesn't matter anymore. But I guarantee this morning without having... <coughs> agreed, excuse me, guaranteed. I agreed this morning without having slept at all. I was wondering that. I was like, how could you have slept through the night? I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt like I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it anymore. I should go to the restaurant for now. And that's where we're going to end it. Thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. It means the world to me when you guys join me on this quest through this. And thank you, thank you, thank you for people who do not ruin it for me. I know, like, you know, I'm new to the Dingarampa scene and stuff, and there's a whole bunch of things I'm learning about the characters. There's backstories I'm learning and stuff. So. It means the world to me that you guys do not ruin this for me. So thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. And I will see all you guys in the next video. Peace and love.